Good morning! Today I'm going to be doing a little day in the life of having a puppy. So we just woke up not too long ago. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> so working on potty training right now, it's a little bit rough at the moment. It is going to be day four today. Day four today of me having my little baby. I love you. <laughs> She's so adorable. She looks like a little gremlin or like E.T. What's, what's in that movie? Like, show me the light. So for those of you who don't know, I named her Hershey. I was deciding between a few names. I liked the name Coco. I liked the name Sugar, Honey. I know, they're all food names. <laughs> and even Mocha. But I don't know, Hershey just stood out to me and I really, really liked Hershey. She's always trying to sit on top of me and snuggle. She's a big cuddler. Isn't that right? Mmm, big yawn. Which I actually decided her name like the first night I got her. I was leaning on Hershey and I was calling her that and then I was like, yeah, you look like a Hershey. I think that fits perfect. Hershey Pappas. Hershey Pappas. I got this cute little mat from home goods isn't it adorable it matches this little bell thing i have on the door that means when she goes out but she doesn't really understand that yet i'm taking her outside very very often but she's still not getting it she was going potty outside the first two days but now i can't get her to go outside go potty i know it's cold she just comes and sits on my feet because she wants to go in. Come on, go potty. It's really hard training a puppy in the winter. This is what we had to do with Cookie, too, because, you know, you don't want to leave them out here too long, but they need to, like, get the hints that you go out here. And when she was pooping in her cage, I was putting the poops out here so that maybe she would, like, smell it and be like, oh, I'm supposed to go out here? Go potty. Okay, when she comes to my feet, I think that's when she wants inside. So, so far, getting not too much sleep, but I know the puppy stage is like this, but it's also the best stage. They're just so adorable at this stage. So this is her favorite toy. Go get it. You love this toy. It's the first toy she ever played with when I brought her home. First toy I ever bought. It's a little cow and she loves it. She loves being held. Like she will just fall asleep like this. Hello cutie. Hello my cutie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I got this adorable little basket. Also home goods. Look how cute it is. It has dog bones on every side and I just threw in like all of her stuff, the little pet wipes for her paws when she poops her peas in the crate. I'll have to wipe her paws down unless it's like bad, I have to give her a bath. Um, little collar, look it looks like Burberry. So cute. Got some shampoo, conditioner, all of that. This is like a cologne spray. This actually smells so good. And yeah, that's about it for right now. <laughs> she is so excited. And I also got the little miniature one as well. How much was this? This one was $10. So, I was thinking so I could put more of her stuff in this little one. <laughs> you guys, look how adorable this toy is. It actually opens up too with Velcro and you could take out the cheese puffs. <laughs> got this at Home Goods. Go get it! Bring it back! Did you get some cheese puffs? Did you get some cheese puffs? Yay! Thank you. <gasps> Go get it. Let's show everyone your really little teeth. You wanna show everyone your little teeth? Okay, I had you guys ask some questions on my Instagram, what questions you have about her, so I'm just gonna go through some, and yeah, let's get started. So. How old is Hershey? She is, she just turned three months on the 20th and her birthday is October 20th. So, a little, little baby. <laughs> Not a question, but I think Hershey needs a puppuccino while filming from Starbucks. Definitely, once she gets a little bit older, I will definitely take her there. Right now, she's just eating puppy food um, and that's it. So, I'm not gonna give her any human food. I really don't want her to be a beggar. I know it's hard to not want to give them a little bit of food because they're just so cute. 
Um, but I'm gonna try my best because I want to take her in the car with me while I mukbang and I just want her to You know sit there and not be crying and begging for food. Does she have a favorite toy? Yes Her favorite toy is her cow and maybe that's because it was the first one I got her But she honestly loves all of her toys. She really likes the stuffed animal toys and she doesn't destroy them Which it, maybe it's because she doesn't really have big teeth yet, but she loves them. She'll just carry them around with her. Someone said, what is my favorite thing about Hershey? Definitely those ears and big bulgy eyes. I love it. It's adorable. It's adorable. Mwah. <laughs> How did you decide on the name? Well, as you guys know, I love food names for dogs. And I don't know, it just kind of stood out because she's like a black and tan dog. So I was thinking like, Hershey, s'mores, caramel mocha, like all the foods that are like also dark. <laughs> but I don't know, I just thought it was adorable. And like I said, I was thinking about Coco. But I don't know, she wasn't like looking like a Coco to me. Because I know she's going to get a little bit chunkier and like wrinkly. So it's like Hershey, like big old Hershey. <laughs> Did you always want a French Bulldog or were you looking at other breeds? I was doing lots of research on my favorite breeds, which as you guys know, I love English Bulldogs because... I grew up with Cookie, and she's an English Bulldog and one-fourth Beagle. So I was looking at Beebles as well, and then I've mentioned how I like Italian Greyhounds, but I was doing research on them, and I was like, mm, that's not really a good fit for me. And I also love Dobermans. I just think those dogs are bad. It's like they're just so, so cool. She always rests her head on me. But me, myself, taking care of a dog that is probably going to be bigger than me, it's like... For a first time dog owner, I was like, I don't think Doberman is a good idea. Maybe in the future, you know? Maybe in the future. And those dogs need a ton of exercise. You're tickling me. <laughs> those little whiskers. So, yeah, it just happened when I held her and met her. I was like, yeah, this is the one. Because I was going to shelters and everything, and I just wasn't bonding with any of them or felt comfortable with any. Am I crate training her? I am. Um, that's been difficult because she doesn't want to go in there and like the crying at night and all of that But I am crate training her. I would love for her to sleep in my bed Um in the future maybe once she's potty trained I would love that because she's a huge cuddler and yeah, what's her she afraid of? Hershey's not afraid of anything honestly. I will vacuum and all of that. She doesn't get scared um she, I already bathed her a couple times. She's fine with that. So, as of right now, you're a brave girl. Why didn't you rescue? Like I said, I've been looking for months and nothing was standing out. Lots of the dogs I was finding were a few years old and I was not feeling comfortable. And how I also mentioned with cats, how I'm like afraid. I don't know, just, I, I tried and I, I'm not going to rescue an animal who I, I'm not 100% sure about. I would rather them go to a family who is completely positive. And plus, even though she's a puppy, she still needed adopted as well. She was in a small little cage. Oh, so sad. So sad how many animals need adopted. But that's always, it's always going to be like that, which is the sad part. But I tried, and in my mukbangs from like literally like November, December, I was like, I'm going to a shelter after this to look, and I was playing with them. And yeah, so that's that. Does she snore? You guys, look at this little outfit I got her at Home Goods. Is this not the cutest thing in the world? Like, oh my goodness. Is this not the cutest thing? For Valentine's Day. Honestly, you could wear this whenever though, because it's just cute. It's just so cute. Look at it. It fits her perfect. It's an extra small. Look, look at this outfit. So she weighs um, eight pounds, like 8.8. .8. I weighed her the other day. I picked her up and weighed her on the scale. Oh my gosh, this outfit. Oh my gosh, I can't get over this sweater. Literally the cutest thing So cute. I'm excited to start taking her for walks, but um, She's a little too young to start doing that 
but I just play with her in the house. I throw the ball back and forth. Oh my gosh, she's so little. She's like the size of a chihuahua right now. She kind of looks like a chihuahua with the ears. Are you in the car? Where are we going? Going to PetSmart. Are you cozy in the car with your heated seat on and the heat blasting? Oh yes. <laughs> oh my, cozy. We're in the pet store. Look at the guinea pigs. Hershey, look, I used to have one of those. See them? Do you see them? Look how adorable this bed is I found here. Cute little mat, and then also I'm getting this big soft one, and it's like brown on the sides. It matches her hands. And then now let's look for some more toys. I'm getting a pet carrier. It's literally, it literally matches her as well. And then also a little doggy playpen, so when I'm editing or doing something, I can put her in one spot and watch her. That's what I would need if I ever got a Doberman. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the biggest. No way. That is literally the biggest cage ever. Like, look at my foot compared to this. Holy cow. For dogs 90 to 125 pounds. Wow, that's crazy. All right, we are back from PetSmart. Let me show you guys what I got. So I got the carrier, like I showed, and then the gate. I got this bed. How cute. And you can make it just black if you want. And then this bed, I really like this one. And you could also flip this around and just have it brown on the top instead of the fuzz. I got this little Valentine's Day collar. Loved the little bow. And then I also just got a black collar because it will match her leash and harness. So just got black. And then I got this little puppy bone. I got this nose and paw balm because her nose is kind of like cracky. No, we're not gonna do that. And then I got this little Binky Kong for puppies. Look how adorable. And I got this little bear toy. And I got extra small nail clippers and a puppy toothbrush. I got this burger toy. Thought this was cute. And then this little Valentine's Day one. And then this hairbrush. This little bow, how adorable. I'll put that on the black collar and it matches the harness as well. And then just this ginormous Tootsie Roll. I know it's like way too big for her. Hershey, but it's just so cute. I mean, I think she could pull it around. Oh yeah, she can. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just made some lunch and currently I have Hershey in her cage she's not liking it she already when i went to the bathroom for literally a minute i came out and she went to the bathroom in here but i did get her to go out to the bathroom just pee outside like 30 minutes ago and she went a lot so she went outside twice today yay but i cannot get her to go poop outside yet to go poop outside look at all her footsteps oh my gosh this room was walking in circles. Look who's meeting. Cookie and Hershey. Cookie looks massive now seeing her after being with little Hershey for so long. Come here. Look at you, Cookie. Did you make a new friend? <laughs> she like towers over Hershey. I thought Cookie was small, but she actually looks huge compared to Hershey. Oh. <laughs> You guys playing nice? Well, they like each other. <laughs> they do. Cookie's been around small dogs before at the at the dog park, so. Hershey. Hershey, no! Someone had a lot of excitement playing with Cookie. Yes, you did. You kind of were attacking Cookie, and Cookie was like, stop it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna insert a clip after this video of her just like barking at Cookie when Cookie was just chilling on the couch. We just got done playing. And she's sleeping on my shoes. You know you have a bed. So adorable. You like my shoes? Let's, let me take you to the couch. Oh, oh my gosh. 
Okay, it is getting late now. We are just cuddling on the couch. She's a big cuddler. She likes laying on her back. Hi. So we're just cuddling. And then I'm going to take her out again. And then she will sleep in her crate. And then I will wake up around 4 to let her out again. And yeah, so... That is my little routine right now with a puppy. I'm going to end the video here. I'm getting sleepy as well, but I'm just going to watch some YouTube. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry. And subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.